Hey guys, Fat Man's back. Holsters had time to uh, for the dye to dry. I apologize for the wash machine going, but you know what? You gotta have clean clothes, right? And I'm gonna show you two different finishes. I have the Thebing's Acrylic Resoline. Um, it's a really durable finish and it works really well for holsters. And I have the EcoFlow Super Sheen which I also like for holsters. Um, I believe they're both an acrylic. The EcoFlow is a water-based finish. Um, and I believe they're both acrylic finishes. Doesn't say. Anyway, the uh, Resoline is less forgiving than the Super Sheen. So, I'll show you real quick how I do with uh, the acrylic Resoline. I just, I, again, I just use my rags. I'm going to use the Resoline on the back. Just get some on there. And you just wipe it on. doesn't have to be super thick keep everything going in the same direction and try not to go over the spots that you've already done it sets really fast and the thing I don't like about it is I always seem to get bubbles in it no matter what method of application I try. I've tried daubers, I've tried foam brushes. And this stuff smells bad. <laughs> so I'm going to let that flash off. And uh, you know, we may have to apply a second coat. Not real sure. We'll see in a few minutes. Be back. Alright guys. It doesn't take too long to, to uh, flash off. So after the, the flash off is done. Just... Uh, Buff it off. And I don't know how well you'll see it. It adds a nice little shine to it. Being an acrylic, it will uh, give it a little more durability. So that's the acrylic resoline. We'll flip her over and use the super sheen. Now I do super sheen. I better get a glove on for this too. When I do the uh, super sheen, I kind of work it in a little bit. It seems to work pretty well for me so far. And it's you got too many things going on at once here. So I like to take the first coat and just kind of in a circular motion, just kind of work it in a little.
and I can only do this and show you different products because uh, it's my holster so who cares <laughs> this is how I test stuff out and decide how I'm going to use it almost looks brown here in this light that's why I don't like this light So it's on wet. Give it a couple of minutes to uh, dry off a little bit and we'll buff it and put on a second coat. So we'll be back in a minute. Alrighty guys, let's give her a quick buffing off. I never like to go for a super shiny holster either. Um, So that's a, after your first coat and a quick buff. Hopefully you can see that okay. Here is the acrylic resolution. Leaves it a little shinier. But we're doing a second coat with the uh, Super Sheen. So I do have another step in there. But um, I, really, I really like the way it applies. It's pretty nice to use. And there's others, uh, satin sheen and other finishes too. Alright, we'll let the second coat flash off, buff it, and we'll be ready to edge coat it. So we'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, I'm going to buff that off. Alright, there is, again, the, uh, oh my gosh, this was the acrylic resolution. Looks good. And this is the Super Sheen. I just kind of really like the Super Sheen. It's, it's my personal preference. Uh, everybody's got their own thing, right? So, now we're going to use Edge Coat. I like to Edge Coat my holsters. Just because the edges take some abuse and uh, this stuff is uh, really good for abuse. I just use, I've used Q-tips, I've used paint brushes, daubers, I just kind of like the Q-tip works pretty good. And you just kind of go around the edges. Usually I have to go over it twice. And it's kind of like uh, an acrylic paint. And I'll usually only do half at a time. So I've got something to hold on to. Now I use it uh, inside the belt slots as well. And for the first coat I just want to make sure I've got good coverage. So it is after the first coat that's undone. And, you know, it's just about dried off already. It dries off really quick. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'll second coat it right away. And 
I kind of go right around because the edges are a little rounded after our sanding and stuff. So I just want to kind of coat that round part, rounded over part too a little bit. The Q-tip seemed to give me pretty good control. far from an artist. Now my second coat on the belt slots I'll do with a paintbrush. <coughs> so yeah, there you go. There's, there's nothing to it really. Um, I'm not going to take you through the paint of doing the whole thing. I'll do the rest of it, and we will be back with the final, <laughs> final shots. So, hang out for a couple minutes. Hey guys, Fat Man's back. <laughs> I got a little laptop on my, uh, just a little, uh, let's see if I can show you, a little Acer. Uh, was watching uh, the MI Woodsman. Just had a video out for a um, little support video for Bluegrass Bushcraft. His sister is doing poorly. So everybody send out some prayers for uh, all our YouTube friends, man. Because they could. there's a lot of us out there that are having some rough spots. And there's a lot more that are having it a lot rougher than me. Um, holster's done. I think it came out great. Uh, the edge coat came out beautiful. When I uh, did the wet forming, the, I let it sit for a real long time, so uh, I lost a little finish on the inside. It stuck to the baggie. <laughs> but, safety checker gun again. Every time I pick it up, I safety check it when I'm using them for this. Um, there you go, with the gun in the holster. Uh, if I can do it later, one of these times, I will... Take a show you some shots of it of me wearing it. You can see my fat ass on video. <laughs> so there you go. We're all done. The holster is completed, and uh, it was a fun project. I hope everybody enjoyed the videos. Um, I know it'll be a few more days before anyone sees this because, well, let's face it, I have to work, and it's going to take me that long to edit and get everything together. So, um, like I said, I'll leave a link to Bluegrass Bushcraft below. And, uh, you know, stay safe, God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.